As usual, you always come on and you, you teach us a little bit about art and, and, and yeah. painting in general. What are we going to be talking about today in particular? So today I thought we, we wrote, last, last time we did something with charcoal, so, yeah. so today I thought we'd do something with some ink and a bit of watercolor, okay. right, which you call sort of uh, ink and wash. I say wash because if you've got something defined with some ink, it kind of carries the image and you can get all nice and messy with watercolor <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Nice, right? okay. So, so that's what we're gonna, gonna do. And I thought, well, I thought uh, I'd use this little reference from, uh, uh, from A.Y. Jackson. This is a little little sketch, that a, a pencil sketch that A.Y. Jackson did. Oh, really? Of the group of seven. Yeah. Right? So, so I thought we'd in, just interpret that and uh, and I've got a uh, and I've done I, I've redrawn it in pencil right right so I've drawn it in pencil and now now we can take some ink right so I've got a nice ink pen right okay. right and uh, with the uh, based on having the the uh, the drawing we can actually sort of uh, you know put in some ink and you can be a little bit loose with it because you already know where things are going to go right and, and and actually in some ways it, it is actually better if they're not kind of perfect right you get why, these why kind of that? slightly well because it just looks a little lyrical the, the 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 spatial arrangements are not too bad because you did it in pencil but right. this gives you the chance to just uh, just be a little freer with the ink. Yeah, you don't you have to be perfect, right? right? That's the you, idea. Yeah, okay. You've got a little bit of a guide, so why don't you have a go? Okay, yeah, okay. So. I, lo I love how so you come on. Allow me to do this, so... Just, yeah, um. see? So in some ways it's better when it's a little bit sort of, uh, uh, I would say, wonky, right? Just exactly, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so it looks, like you might say, a little bit cartoonish or expressive, right? And so we can just kind of ink in these things, right? right? So it's yeah, quite, that's great. quite quick to do. I'm an right? artiste, just, everybody. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, let's not go too so far here. Yeah. So we got, uh, so if we've got a, uh, a bit of a, a drawn image, we don't have to go too far because we can actually come back to it. I was going to ask you that because right? uh, I, I was under the impression when you did something like this in, in watercolor, you did the watercolors first and then followed up with, with, with the ink. But I guess that you do both. You can do both. Okay. Yes. So okay. And in fact, I, I've got an example where I just put a bit of ink afterwards. Okay. It's actually Wakefield. And oh, is the, it really? Uh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, and, well, you'll uh, have to go the, visit. Yeah. So, yeah, the Nicosi uh, so, yeah, Bistro so, Pub. So, uh, uh, or you could do it before. The only thing is, if you do when you do it before, just make sure that your 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 pen is waterproof. Right, otherwise uh, you get yes. sort of it all Things can get ugly of, if, if it's well, not waterproof. Expressive. Yes, okay. Very more expressive, expressive right? yes. So, okay. so now we've got something in, in ink, right? I can actually just rub quickly, just rub out all those pencil marks, right? Oh, Sometimes okay. people like to leave them in, but if I want to, I can just rub them all out, right? Okay. So now I've got purely an ink an ink drawing, which I can put some nice. uh, some 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 watercolor in. So okay. we'll have a go at that. Let, yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah we got a couple of minutes. And then the good okay. news is, by the way, David is here for two segments. So you, you'll be able to see this this process. We might not be able to finish the entire process, but you'll get to see yeah, a lot yeah, of the yeah, process. Yeah. yeah. So, so when I'm doing watercolor, I always like to start with the sky. Right? Okay. Just a lot of watercolor. So some some people turn it upside down. Some people have it horizontal. I've got it kind of vertically set, right? Yeah. Which is a little unusual for watercolorists, but of course, if it's if it's vertically set, I kind of know where the water is going. It's going to go right. down, right? Right. Okay. And look, I don't I don't really care if I go over the the image a little and bit. And why not? Right? Why because, why don't we care? Because we got all that ink there. I right? see. We got okay. all that ink, okay. which is going to help us. And right? you can so, use that, I guess, to blend yeah. in other colors right. later. Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah. Okay. So, so here, this this could be uh, this could you know they could be clouds, they yeah. could be something, right? But the thing is, I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to be too uh, uh, particular about it, right? Right. They, uh, and uh, maybe I'd. Just smudge that out, but that uh, this too, right? But uh, <laughs> I love they, watching uh, an artist that knows what they're fun, doing, right? right? So wait, just before break, we've probably got time. Why don't you just put a bit of grass in there? Okay, uh, okay. Derek, I appreciate right? so the trust got, you have yeah, in me. Yeah, there we go. So we got a brush with. <laughs> okay. So just sweep it on back and forward, right? We're, and leave a little bit of white space, right? Because okay. that kind of shows the 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 dimension of the thing. How's right? that? So just a little bit. Off here, okay. Right? So, 
Cool, cool. There we go. So, so look at. So now. Look, we're building something together. Yeah. Imagine we, what we could sell this for. Hey, um, we, we, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. David's going to stick around. We're going to continue building on this uh, beautiful piece of art here. And we'll tell you what else is happening at the Ottawa School of Art coming up right after this. with artist and instructor David Kern. We're working on our, our watercolor, our watercolor wash okay. and ink, That's I it. guess ink we can call it. Ink, ink and wash. Ink and wash. Um, you sent along some great photos as well. So as we're, as we're doing this, I'll ask them to bring up some of the, some of the photos because one of them is actually, you mentioned earlier, from Wakefield, which is perfect right. because we're just talking yeah. to uh, Wapakuni about her beautiful, beautiful restaurant out there in Wakefield. And this is the one here, isn't it, David? That's it. Yeah, that's, this is gorgeous. Uh, that's Fairburn by the way. Uh, House, which is the museum and visitor center. Yeah, uh, Wakefield, just by the bridge, across the river from the town. Yeah, I, I just, just went there last the, summer. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful spot, and here's so, some more of your work so this here. So just shows how, how 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 you can get quite loose with a bit of bit of ink and watercolor, and the image kind of ma makes a bit of sense. Yeah. Just a couple of. Uh, couple of uh, cars there and this this is uh, a version of what we're doing today okay. and it's actually on the website there I've, I've I, go, I go step by step how I did this live with a video on davidkern.com get start slash get Amazing. started right Excellent. So, and then there's the summer camp summer information camps, there that course, we talked yeah, about as yeah, well yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and there's a nice picture of the school as well. So if you're going past this building, right, just drop in, right? Yeah, they'll, that's they'll something you and I have you. talked yeah, about before. Right. Is is it? Yeah. It's yeah. not just that's a school, right. right? It's also yeah. a gallery. It's a public place. Yes. You can go in and out anytime yeah. you want. And then this is you doing some plain air that's yeah. that's yeah. coming up. You and your wife are doing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yes, indeed. We've got a number of uh, plein air uh, sessions coming up, and they're all on the website. Excellent. So that, all right. Okay. So 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 in, so now we can put the building in, right? And if I just take some uh, some paint and I and I do some vertical strokes with uh, the uh, the uh, the the brush, right? I can actually sort of make something of the the side. Well, yeah. You have a quick okay. Go yeah. There, absolutely. Derek, and okay. I'll we'll get another there. brush. You have some other exhibitions that are that are sort of ongoing as well right now, right? That people can go and yes. and visit. Yeah, they can. Uh, they, there's uh, I'll just make this a little bit darker. There we are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a number of great exhibitions going on at the school at the moment. There's uh, there's one with works on paper, which is actually in the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the area uh, in the Byward Market building itself. Right. Above the uh, the, the commercial area. Right. Okay. It's a big base. 116 drawings. Really? It's one of the biggest exhibitions in Ottawa. It's really worth Amazing. going and seeing, right? There's uh, the, uh, the the finalists for the portrait competition. That's right. on the school this week. They're on display all They're week. All, all, all week here downtown. And the kids uh, the, the kids show, which is really great. That's nice. starting next week. Oh, I cannot uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so i got to pay you a stuff. visit next yeah. week. That'll be yeah. great. Yeah. So, uh, so just so 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 now we've put some uh, some uh, uh, some siding in it. It starts yeah. looking like a house. But I always like to make make uh, put a bit of color on the painting. So so we'll just uh, we'll just say it. we don't know what kind of roof it was. But okay. Ay Ay, Ay, Ay Jackson didn't tell us. So we're just going to make it red. Right. Okay. So we'll just give this uh, this guy a bit of a a red roof. Nice. And uh, and I'll slowly and I'll just quickly. Add a bit of uh, the uh, the rest of the siding in here, David. When okay. you're doing watercolor, can you do it all at the same time, or do do you let portions of it dry for any reason? Well, you should. Some people would say you should let it dry. It's just I'm impatient, so I I kind of I kind of <laughs> just appreciate your honesty. Let, let the, but the thing the thing is that if you've got a uh, if you've got this line uh, drawing right, you can get quite sloppy with the watercolor right. and it still makes a bit of sense right so so even though we've been we've done this very quickly it uh, it's it, it looks like a house right yeah and exactly you, i can go back in with some more ink and i can just i can just add some details right that uh, just perhaps make it look like there's reflections in the window right 
right? Maybe they, I notice on A. Y. Jackson's sketch, there's uh, there's some uh, there's some uh, some fencing. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know, they, you know, we could we could just go and add a little bit of detail in afterwards, and the more you do, the more it becomes. A nice little drawing, right? That's and I was going to ask you about that too. I mean, for those that are, are perhaps beginners and they're they're a little intimidated, I mean, the idea is the more you do, the the, the better, you yeah. eventually you're you're going to get yes. right. And yeah. do it for yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. You've always said that. Exactly. Like the, it's yeah. the joy of doing it at Absolutely. the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. And we've done this very quickly, right? And and. Uh, uh, you know, maybe that sky looks like it's got some clouds, you know, sort of, you can see tufts of, yeah. uh, of grass, right? The building's like a little bit funky, but it makes a bit of sense, right? And, uh, and, it's, uh, and, it, and it's in good part because this, this idea of having ink gives you definition. Right. And then the watercolor is loose, so you've got this kind of juxtaposition of two things. Yeah. The definition and the fluidity, right? So right. there we go. That's ink and ink and wash. I love which it. Is